First look, Donald Trump's new D.C. hotel. Donald Trump is making a bid to move into 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue in January. But regardless of whether the Republican presidential nominee succeeds, he'll be able to stay at his newest hotel just a few blocks away. The Trump International Hotel Washington, D.C. opened on Monday. The 263-room hotel is located at 1100 Pennsylvania Avenue. In what was once a historic Postmaster General's building, Trump's company was given a 60-year lease by the federal government in a deal to restore the landmark building. The property features 35 suites, a 4,000-square-foot three-bedroom presidential suite that used to be the Postmaster General's office has 16-foot ceilings. The hotel will have its official opening in late October, which the Trump family is expected to attend. Our team has worked tirelessly to restore and preserve the historical elements of the old post office and transforming the building to a world-class hotel, said Ivanka Trump. The candidate's daughter and executive vice president of development and acquisitions for the Trump Organization in a written statement. USA Today took a tour of the property on Monday. Its first day in business with the hotel's managing director Michael Damlincourt. We're trying to reinvent the industry, he says. There's a new five-star customer. We took a step back and asked what was important for a guest 20 years ago and what is important today. One example of ideas that came out of that discussion was that each room has a steamer. Too many hotels have inferior hangers that ruin expensive clothing, Damlin Court says. This is what resonates with the five-star customer, he says. Don't spend money on what they don't need but spend money on what counts. The presidential suite has a master bedroom, large living room, dining room with a butler's pantry and kitchen. Designers restored stained wood trim, deep plaster crown moldings and other historic features, including a fireplace in the main living room area. The master bathroom will have marble from an Italian quarry. The suite will include a fitness center and walk-in closets. The price tag for one night in the suite, $15,000. In addition to the presidential suite, the hotel has a 6,300-square-foot Trump townhouse, a bi-level apartment with a private entrance on Pennsylvania Avenue. It featured two bedrooms, two bathrooms, a private office, workout room and dining room that can seat up to 24. The townhouse will go for $20,000 a night. The hotel will feature public spaces such as the Benjamin Bar and Lounge and the Spa by Ivanka Trump. The 315-foot clock tower will open to the public for soaring views of the city from its observation deck. Each guest room has a brass clock on a nightstand to remind guests of the tower. You just don't find views like this of Washington, D.C., Damlin Court says. After Trump made controversial statements about Mexican immigrants, restaurateurs Jose Andres and Jeffrey Zakarian pulled out of the dining venue. But BLT Prime by David Burke is opening in their place. Burke, who has appeared on Iron Chef America, has restaurants in New York City and Chicago. Burke says he has known Trump for years and was happy to join the project. He runs the best hotels in the world. He builds the best hotels in the world from my standpoint, he says. The effort is there to create something special and we are part of it. Whether he wins or doesn't win. That doesn't matter for what I'm doing. What I'm doing is building a brand for myself and building business. A Brioni boutique has also moved into the building. The hotel also has a 13,200-square-foot presidential ballroom, 